Hello everyone. Today we are um, going to continue uh, checking out the cool hacks we have for spectral layers. This is the part two. Okay, so this is the second part for the cool hacks uh, for spectral layers with the minimal clicks that we started out on our last video. Please go ahead and check that out. And today is going to be very different. We're not going to explain everything that we are about to do with the tool, but just kind of a before and after and what we can uh, to show you what we can achieve with spectral layers and how easily it can be done. So let's begin. Okay, this is our first sample. As I, again, as I said, I am not going to show the, the all the how we did it, how, the way I did it. I will explain how I did it because the whole idea is for you to be able to do kind uh, this kind of things in just a couple of clicks. So this is a classic for us in Latin America. We get a lot of crickets and this is it. Let me show you what we had. So what I did is I basically made a mixed noise speech and got this. And I split it the the obvious obviously the got the the backing noise that I had which is this and I also okay. had is taken out the crickets from the audio what I did is I just selected that and imp and send it to another layer so I can control and take them out okay. and okay. lower and raise the volume and for you to have a sense of how this might be ending like I'm going to show you putting this sound effect with just one ambience. And I can take those crickets out if I want. Or have them there, very low, like that. So, before and after, let me show you what we did. So, this is the before. And this is after. Again, before. And after. So, let's keep going. Okay, this is uh, my next example, and let me show you. This is a very uh, unwanted noisy on the background that is not heavy, but is not nice, and I want to make it nicer. So what I did in this case is just making one click and mix noisy speech, and you will see the results. <laughs> Again, all I did is unmix it, and I have here the noisy track. With a little bit of residual dialogues in there, and this is the dialogue. And what I did is, and, and I'm going to continue doing it throughout this video, is replacing this noise with a new noise so that you can um, get a sense of how good this blends with your, uh, with your production. And this is it. Okay, so let's make before and after. Before, after. Before, and after. It's just an amazing result with one simple click. Let's continue. Okay, this is my next example. This is uh, hey, very windy right. uh, dialogue. Y'all still want y'all's fish. 
And it also has a ramble from a boat because this is over the top of on a dock with a boat again. Sorry about your head. <laughs> That's all right. I'll get it checked out. Y'all still want super noisy. So all I did in this case at the first my first step on this case is um, a mixed noisy speech. So one click and guy get this separated. That's all right. And this is I'll my get it checked out. noise that I'm going to take speak. out. That's all right. I'll get it checked out. Y'all still want y'all fish. But I wanted it to rescue it a little bit because it had like the color of the wind and, the, and uh, uh, certain things that I wanted it to keep in case I have to match this with the other dialogue that we're here on the background that we have in another channel. So what I did is um, I, em I copy it, I registered it with ambience match, then I empty it, empty it the, the whole region and then filled it with the ambience match and I got this. That's all right. I'll get it checked out. Y'all still want y'all's fish. Very close to what we had. That's all right. I'll get it checked out. But we have, without all the ramble of the wind and the, on the movement and everything. And that's very flat and just feels the dialogue perfectly. That's all right. But it's a little bit heavy for me, so I EQ'd it a little bit, took a little off the layer of the ramble and of the brightness, so it was not that intense. That's all right. I'll get it checked out. Y'all still... That's all right. This is what we have. I'll get it checked out. This is what we help. have. It's all right. I'll get it checked out. And again, I just place a little dark ambience on the background so that you can hear how it will blend with the mix. So let's do the before and after. So this is the before. That's all right. I'll get it checked out. Y'all still want y'all's fish. That's all right. I'll get it checked out. Y'all still want y'all's fish. Before? <laughs> That's all right. I'll get it checked out. Y'all still want y'all's fish. After? Uh, no. That's all right. I'll get it checked out. Y'all still want y'all's fish. I also place a little bit of EQ on the dialogue and you can hear how it opens up and makes it very wide and we, just by adding the sound effects on the background. That's all right. I'll get it checked out. And this is just one layer of a random sound effect that I uh, pulled from my library so that I can get the sense of how it will mix. But you can hear how good it does before. That's all right. I'll get it checked out. Y'all still want y'all's fish. And That's after. all right. I'll get it checked out. Y'all still want y'all's fish. Simply wonderful and a couple of clicks. Okay, this is another example. We have a, um, Haley wants me to a pump on the it. back. Just make sure you clean up. I, I don't want you tracking mud all over the car. Razzle and movement and a bunch of things that I don't want. And obviously, with my first step was a mixed noisy speech. So I don't have to go through different processes. Just one tool makes it all easier for me. As you can hear. Haley wants me to invite you to dinner. It sounds perfect. But I took, this is the noise that I took out. And let me turn it off. He wants me to invite you to dinner. Just a little bit of EQ. Sure you clean up. And uh -huh. then I added a couple of effects, the, a couple of sound effects. So I can match what we had in the scene. In this case, the engine that is on the pump on the background. And some wind. And with both uh, sound effects, it sounds like this. So let's make the before and after. Before, Haley wants me to invite you to dinner. Just make sure you clean up. I, I don't want you tracking mud all And after, Haley wants me to invite you to dinner. Just make sure you clean up. I, I don't want you tracking mud all over the car. No rustling, no bumps, not any of that, but just clean sound and clean sound effects. And and the cool thing, and you can sense it, is the once we place a stereo sound effect, uh, the voice widens and it feels natural. Something that we don't have in here. Haley wants me to invite you to dinner. Just make sure you clean up. I, I don't want you track. Haley wants me to invite you to dinner. Just make sure you clean up. I, I don't want you tracking mud all over the carpet. With a couple of tools and a couple of sound effects, we can have it super quickly fixed with Spectral Layers 11. 
Okay, this is another example. Uh, very windy conditions, and it has certain sound effects at the beginning. All of this. Morning. That sounds well. Morning, Gabe. How you doing? Dialogue is very well, but hey, it has all this um, yeah wind on the background. I would have gone with a diesel myself, but hey, uh, you ever come to a decision on the plumbing for those new tanks you're setting out of Digby's? Basically, yes, what I did, again, no, you see, it makes no speech. Morning, Gabe. How you doing? A little bit of you. Yeah. I would have gone. Say, uh, you ever come to a decision? This is my uh, sounds. So... I took that first part from there, put it aside, tweak it a little bit with the cue. And added this wind, because we had a lot of wind, that's the reason the mic is sounding like that. So I placed this to match the scene. So let's make before and afters. Morning, Gabe. How you doing? Fine, fine. Hey, count seven. And after. Morning, Gabe. How you doing? Yeah. I would have gone with a diesel myself, but yeah. I would have gone with a diesel myself, but say uh. You ever come to a decision on the plumbing for those new tanks you're setting out of Digby's? Say, uh, you ever come to a decision on the plumbing for those new tanks you're setting out of Digby's? Lane. My bid was lower than his. You know it was. Lane. My bid was lower than his. You know it was. Did he undercut me? No, no. I can get the job done in three days, and you know that, Lane. I can get the job done in... Three days, and you know that, Gabe. So very quickly, with a couple of clicks, we have that done and fixed. Okay, this is my next example. And this one is a little bit different in a sense that oh, get her out of there. Get it's whispered. No, come on. And it has a lot of the rumble of the shirt while he's laying down on the ground and the pebbles and everything like that. But you're not actually seeing in the shot, so it's very uncomfortable to hear this. Oh, get her out of there. So get what I did there. again is to mix noise speech. Oh, get her out of there. Get her out of there. Again, if everything is turned on, sounds exactly the same. But if I take it the noise and I want to show you how it sounds just a dialogue. Oh, get her out of there. Get her out of there. No, come on. I lost a little bit of really? breath. So if you hear the background noise, really? there's a lot of clicking and a lot of noise still. So what I did is I declicked it and, and not only declicked it, but also EQ it so that I can took out all, just leave the breath uh, uh, frequency range sounding. And this is what I got. So just by the clicking and the queuing, I got that out and I mix it with the dialogue. It sounds much, Get much better. Get her out of there. No, come on. Really? And I take, took back all the breaths that I lost and I put a little bit of folly oh, for the gun that he's Get holding and a little come bit on. of uh, desert oh, Get her out of there. Get her out sound and wind. No. And this is what we get in the before and after. So this is my before. Oh, get her out of there. Get her out of there. No, come on. Really? And after. Oh, get her out of there. Get her out of there. No, come on. Really? Before. Get her out of there. Get her out of there. No, come on. Really? And after. Oh, get her out of there. Really? Quick and amazing. And this is another and final example. I think we made the point where I took this very noisy um, 
dialogue when there's a pointer letting her what she has to say, both are non-actors and she's making an effort to show, um, to, to do the, the role of a shaman. So he's letting her know the, the lines that he, she has to, to say. So we have to remove that. And I want to remove those uh, backgrounds. It's very uncomfortable. So basically, again, we just did uh, a mixed noisy speech. So I took this out. And with a little bit of EQ, it's almost perfect. And this noise track that was in the background is not necessarily... Uh, it's important in the sense that it can show what we were the places and the nature that it has and the kind of crickets and cicadas that it might have. So I, what I did is I, because it has this uh, uncon movement that is not pleasant because of the denoising and because of the conditions of the place. So I muted, I again did replace uh, with silence. I made ambience match with it and got this back end. So which is basically the same but softer. It's the same and softer, and I placed a sound effects in here. And we can do our before and after so that you can hear how cool it sounds now compared to what we got. Well, to what we had. So before and after. Y la madre comentó que esa mujer era. La madre comentó que esa mujer era. El padre le sirvió comida, pero la mujer no comió. El padre le sirvió comida, pero la mujer no comió. Pero la mujer no comió. La casa estaba en medio de la montaña y no había nada alrededor. La casa estaba en medio de la montaña y no había nada alrededor. So you can hear is almost perfect. And this is just a quickly uh, re uh, thing that we just did with a couple of clicks again. So as you can see, it's a very practical tool. We did everything, um, uh, all that we showed. Uh, today, it was a, just a simple click and uh, one thing that we had to do, a couple of things that we had to do. We didn't have to go through the hassle of process, processing different tools and making a bunch of processes because uh, Spectral Layers works very differently and is very efficient. And with a couple of tweaks on, on the layers that we took out and put on the DAW, uh, we can make things sound better and fast, better and fast. So. Hopefully, this video and the one we did before will give you the push to get the spectral layers for yourself so that you can uh, ease your life and do things quickly with a very good sound quality and um, very fast results. So let's see you on the next one. And please subscribe, and if you haven't, and see you on the next video, as I said. Thank you.